Hey folks, how you doing? How have you been? Happy New Year's! It's 2015, yeah! Anyways, Leducium here. I haven't been playing too much, I haven't been recording too much, but here we are in the new year playing some more Hearthstone, playing some more Goblins vs. Gnomes, and I'm gonna jump right into the arena and we'll start a game going here because I need more cards and the best way to get them, I think, is by playing in the arena. We have a Druid, a Warlock, or a Mage. Uh, as much as I want to play as a Mage, let's play as a Druid. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, we have Hobgoblin. Whenever you play a 1 attack minion, give it plus 2 plus 2. I've seen people play this card and it's pretty damn good. It's a powerful card uh, that you can get out there. It does cost 3 to cast, but still, if you have a lot of 1 mana minions, this is awesome. Especially if you're playing a Warlock and uh, you're playing kind of a zoo deck, this is fantastic. South Sea Captain, your other pirates have plus one, plus one. Only really good if you're playing a pirate deck, which is now viable, thanks to all the new cards that have been introduced. And Dark Whispers, summon five wisps or give a minion plus five, plus five, and taunt. Uh, the wisps are one, one, could be useful. Plus five, plus five, and taunt is pretty okay. Um, too bad I can't do the Goblin and the Wisp, because imagine playing this, uh, and then playing this, and summoning 5 one ones. So that would be pretty insane, because then all of those would be 3-3s. Three but, I guess if I have to choose one, I'm going to take Dark Whispers. Although that might come back to bite me in the ass, but the 5-5 five, five and Taunt seems pretty, pretty good. Harvest Golem is great, Starfire is great, Frost Elemental is okay. Uh, I might take a Starfire here. Dancing Swords is okay. Uh, Ancient Brewmaster could be pretty good if we have some good Battlecry minions. Because its own Battlecry will send the minion back into our hand. Uh, Mark of Nature is pretty good. Uh, taunt and Attack. So let's take Mark of Nature for now. Well, you know what? We'll take the Ancient Brewmaster and hope for some good minions there. Adonized Robocub. Taunt, choose one plus one attack or one health. This is a pretty good card. It could either be a 3-2 or a 2-3, basically, for two mana. So it's got good value, and more importantly, depending on what you need at that moment in time, you can uh, choose what you want. Druid of the Claw is pretty damn awesome, and Stone Skin Gargoyle could be good, especially if we can cast something like uh, Dark Whispers on it, or, well, I didn't take the Taunt, but if we took the... Uh, Mark of the Wild or whatever that was. That would be pretty good with the Stone Skin Gargoyle, but I think I'll go with Druid of the Claw. I do have to watch the mana curve because we are getting up there as far as having cards that are going to take way too long to play. So we'll have to watch that a bit. Let's go with the Loot Hoarder here. Razor, Razor Fin Hunters, meh. And Frost of Warlord is good if I have a lot of creatures, but who knows if I'll get a lot of small creatures. Claw, Poison Seeds, or Core Hound. Uh, as much as I like poison seeds and it could be useful I'm gonna take claw mad scientist well we're not gonna have any secrets so that's out voodoo doctor or raid leader raid leader could go well with our dark whispers um, that's a possibility but I'd have to get both of them at the same time and just the mana cost alone is gonna be high voodoo doctor could be very useful so we'll go with that Salty Dog, 7-4 for 5. The problem with having 4 health is it gets wiped out really easily by a lot of things. Uh, splinter, a Stone Splinter Trog. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, gain plus 1 attack. That seems pretty good. And Shattered Sun Cleric is always good, but I'll go with the Stone Splinter Trog. It's a new card. We get to play around with it. Mark of Nature, Spiteful Smith. We're not going to have any weapons. Or naturalize. Destroy a minion, your opponent gains two cards. Which, you know, as bad as giving your opponent two cards, being able to take out something really big is actually pretty good. But I think I'll go with Mark of Nature. Oh, hey, we get some legendaries. And I haven't seen some of these. So, Bling Trunk 3000. Equip a random weapon for each player. That's not that great. Um, unfortunately, I can't get that and Harrison Jones, which would allow me to destroy your opponent's weapon. Because this would be fun to do if you had 10 mana and both of these cards in your hand. Play the Bling Trung and then play Harrison Jones right after. That would be awesome. Uh, Hemet Nessingwary. 
Uh, yeah. Um, Battle cry, destroy a beast. Interesting. Uh, good against hunters. Not that great against other things. And it is a 6 3, which isn't great. So Harrison Jones, honestly, I think is the best card here because worst case scenario, it's a 5 4 for 5, which is okay. Uh, it's a Yeti for one more mana, basically. Um, well, with reverse Yeti. Yeti's 4 5, yeah, so it's a reverse Yeti. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound right, a reverse Yeti. Um, anyways, so yeah, we'll go with it. Ogre Brute, I like. Uh, it has a chance to attack the wrong enemy, but still a 4 4 4 3 mana, so we'll take it. Puddle Jumper is okay, Dread Corsair is alright, Silver Moon Guardian is pretty damn good with the Divine Shield, so we'll take that. I'm tempted to take, in this case, the Stone Skin Gargoyle because we have Mark of Nature, because we have Dark Whispers, and if I can get both of them out, that would be awesome. Spider Tank is a pretty powerful card. Young Dragon Hawk is okay. Soul of the Forest, give your minions Death Rattle Summon to teach 2 2 Triant. If I had a whole bunch of smaller cards, and I do have a few small things, that could be very good. But I think I'll go with the Spider Tank, it's just a solid 3 4. Flesh Eating Ghoul is pretty good. Ogre Magi gives our spells a little bit more oomph. And uh, South Sea Deckhand has charge while you have a weapon equipped, which we never will. Has a druid, so it's not as good. It's just basically a 2 1 for 1. Um, maybe I'll go with the ghoul? Sure. Another Ogre Brute. Uh, Voodoo Doctor Worgen Infiltrator. I'm going to go with the Brute. Tinkertown Technician is pretty good. I think it's a very powerful card. If you have a mech, it gets plus one, plus one, and a spare part. So you have two pretty decent things. Unfortunately, we don't really have any mechs right now, as far as I remember. Well, we have the tank. And that's pretty much it. Savage Roar gives our characters plus two attack. This turn could be really good, especially if we can pair it with something like Dark Whispers, where we summon the uh, Wisps, and if they live, on the next turn we would use Savage Roar because the Wisps don't have charge so or Swipe and I'm gonna take Swipe because I love Swipe it's just a great card uh, Wrath, Cobalt Geomancer, or Spiteful Smith, I'll take the Wrath Explosive Sheep, Savage Roar, or Venture Co Mercenary, I like the Venture Co Mercenary even though it prevents me from playing other minions it's a pretty powerful card to be able to get out on turn 5 uh, Explosive Sheep deals 2 damage to all minions could be very useful could help wipe the board um, or Savage Roar. It's a tough one. I'm gonna go with the Venture Co. I just like the Venture Co. and I don't play that often enough. Tree of Life is new. All right, let's get to it in a sec. Sea Giant, we know, uh, costs one less for every other minion on the board. Murloc War Leader is good, but not useful if I don't have any Murlocs. Or restore all, restore all characters to full health for nine mana. I don't quite like that because it's all characters. I wonder if that means that seems like it means all players too. This could be a good get out of death card. So that would restore me to full health, but it would also restore my opponent to full health, which right there is not great. And if I'm already losing, if I'm already in that situation, it's very situational is what the way I see it because if I am losing just by a little bit and I all I need is one or two more turns this could kind of reset the board on the other hand if I'm losing by a lot this isn't gonna save me so I think we'll go with Sea Giant uh, that is a good interesting card though that I'd want to come back to eventually um, bite give your hero plus four attack and four armor uh, Grove Tender Give each player a mana crystal or each player draws a card. Interesting. Uh, it's a 2-4 for 3, which is okay. Um, I do like the idea here, but the fact that it gives each player uh, an advantage just isn't that great. Uh, Mech Bear Cat. Whenever this minion takes damage, you add a spare part to your hand. Yeah, definitely. 7-6 for, uh, for 6. Pretty good. Stranglethorn Tiger Wisp or Sengen Shield Master. I'm going to take the Shield Master because we don't have any taunt right now. Uh, Magma Rager, terrible. Uh, loot Hoarder or Dread Corsair? We're going to go with the Loot Hoarder. 
We don't have much in the way of card draw, so the loot hoarder will help. Mini Mage! Stealth, spell damage plus one. Interesting. Um, Shade of Naxxramas could be good if allowed to grow. Or Big Game Hunter, which is good for destroying large stuff on the board. Which I'm probably going to take just in case my opponent gets something big. Uh, Wisp, Swipe, or Claw. I'll go with Swipe. I like Swipe way too much not to take it. Dancing Swords, War Golem, or Spider Tank. I'm going to take another Spider Tank here. Explosive Sheep, Thralmir Farseer, Silver Moon Guardian. I would love to get Thralmir Farseer at the same time as being able to play something like Mark of Nature, where I give a plus four attack and then I'm able to do 12 damage with it. But it's unlikely and it never happens, so let's forget about that. Explosive Sheep is very tempting uh, to be able to essentially wipe the board, but I won't be able to trigger it, so I'd have to have my opponent be able to trigger it, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Silver Moon Guardian can usually trade two for one, so it's pretty damn good, unless you're playing against the mage, and even then they just, you force them to have to use their hero ability. I'll go with the Silver Moon Guardian, I think. Ship's Cannon, whenever you summon a pirate, deal two damage to, an, to a random enemy. Interesting, we don't have any pirates, as far as I remember. Raid Leader or Naturalize? Um, I think I, I'm... Ugh. I, I don't like Raid Leader, frankly, because it takes way too much to summon. Uh, and it dies way too easily. At the same time, Naturalize could be good. I don't like giving my opponent cards, though. But maybe I'll take Naturalize and hope for the best. War Golem, Dread Corsair, or Abusive Sergeant. Abusive Sergeant can be good. Um, War Golem can be good as well. We have some big cards already. Venture Co., Bear Cat, Sea Giant. So taking War Golem seems like maybe not the best idea. We'll take the Abusive Sergeant. Uh, Starfall, Emperor Cobra, or Arcane Nullifier. I like the Arcane Nullifier. Uh, but I also like Starfall and the ability to do two damage to all enemy minions. So it's a tough one. Now uh, we'll take the Arcane Nullifier. All right, we'll go with this. Let's play and see how we do. All right. It's like nobody's around. <laughs> Finding opponent. Maybe. There we go. We're playing against the warrior. Try 949. All right. That's our opponent's name. Uh, we get to go second, which is wonderful. I'm going to get rid of three of those. I'm not keeping Mark of Nature because unless I get a minion that I can play it on, it's not worth it. And we get spells, which they're good spells, don't get me wrong, but it's not that useful. Let's say hello. Always nice to be polite. And destroy the environment a bit, and then see what our opponent does. So our opponent didn't do anything on turn one. Turn two, he's going to armor up. So either he doesn't have anything or he's waiting for me to go and play something first. We got a big game hunter, which I'm not really inclined to play right now, uh, to coin into that is. So instead I'm just going to use my hero ability, get one armor, one attack, hit my opponent for one. And now we're exactly balanced uh, for life. Now, I'm thinking this is a good opportunity to use our hero ability and claw and just destroy this thing. I don't want that thing to uh, hit me for 4 damage or get buffed up and hit me for more. If he has something like Rampage, that could get out of control very quickly. Um, so we'll do that. Piloted Shredder is annoying because he's going to get a really good value for it. Um, so we could play the Ogre Brute here, but I'm thinking we play our Taunt. Because that'll kill the Piloted Shredder and should theoretically live long enough to maybe kill the card that comes after it. The problem with all the shredders 
is the fact that they was he gonna attack yes good yes no okay he chooses not to attack interesting um, the problem with the shredders is that the Ninja Turtles get you every single time the problem with the shredders is that it's you always well not always but you're pretty much guaranteed to get two creatures for the price of one which is pretty damn good um, Wrath uh, could kill the shredder swipe I could swipe the shredder damage this by one then run this into an A and coin into my hero ability and kill this right yeah that's not terrible it's not great I could play the ventricle mercenary right now and just forget about everything else and then he still has to go through this um, well, I could play the ogre brute and hope for the best you know what let's let's go for the venture co mercenary it's a big card he'll have to deal with it he might have execute which means he'll be able to execute it and I really can't play too many creatures on the next turn but I'm hoping to get more stuff with the swipe okay alright <laughs> he had a big game hunter fair enough I have one of those too. He doesn't know it yet. That's annoying. So here's what I'm thinking. We go ahead and swipe the shredder. That'll at least kill that. Yes, I'm a 4-1 pirate, which is annoying. We'll do this. Uh, Wrath will deal one damage. Doesn't really matter. Well, let's find out what the pirate does. Whenever you summon a pirate, gain stealth. Interesting. Uh, we'll kill the pirate. And we'll get a card out of this. And I'm going to take some damage in the process from what he has on the board, but that's okay. So, that is just a little painful but we did clear out a whole bunch of stuff so that's okay he's got a silver moon guardian too this guy has basically the same exact deck that I have except he's a warrior okay well here's what's gonna happen we're gonna play the ogre brute followed by the other ogre brute followed by this thing and just get some stuff on the board so that we can start dealing out a little bit of damage somehow plus you know regain some board control because it's kind of a mess if I had my other swipe this would be solved because we would just clear out all the other stuff good time to battle rage and a oh, pretty decent time he gets two cards out of it oh, that's annoying good use of that though Alrighty. So we're going to kill this thing, get a card, Sea Giant, which we could play, but I think I'll play two of these. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get rid of his Silver Moon Guardian, and I could use Ancient Brewmaster in one of them. He's not going to let me have any board control, is he? He's just clearing out everything I put out there. Now he's going straight for face. Okay, interesting. Okay. Well, we'll do this. This is a good time to play Harrison Jones. 
unfortunately I can't play the Starfire, but I can do that, and then throw that back. Now I could have thrown back Harrison Jones, but I don't think he's going to get another weapon, and if he does, I mean, good for him. I also need to make sure I can survive long enough to do that and it's unfortunately not looking great for me Ugh. okay alright this is something um, we're gonna play the sea giant we're gonna play mark of nature to give it taunt we're gonna play big game hunter on his 7-7 we're gonna kill off this stuff. Well, I'm leaving the small stuff alive and hoping he has no way to get past my 812. Please don't have a uh, execute. Uh, he's got execute. So if I, yeah. If I had taken out that one thing, uh, that one creature, that would have at least bought me a turn. So that stinks. Oh well, we'll play again. I should have anticipated the execute, but I was really hoping you didn't because I needed something more than that. That's okay. Can't win them all. Or sometimes can't win any. But let's see how we do against Wrath, the Shaman. This is okay. It's an okay starting hand. Uh, we'll go with it. Yeah. I could turn two Spider Tank, turn three Flesh Eating Ghoul, and then work these other ones in there some somehow. See if my opponent does anything in turn one. So we're not going to do anything turn one because I don't want to play the abusive sergeant. I don't really get much of the benefit out of it. What I can do is spider tank. I'll trade well enough with the fairy dragon assuming that he doesn't hit it with a bolt of lightning, but even if he does, it'll still kind of live. So, and I kind of hope he does use a lightning bolt on it. But he, he could have crackle. So, I gotta start learning some of the new cards and learning how they interact. He's got an unbound elemental. Okay, it means he doesn't have crackle. This actually gives me a good opportunity. So as much as I want to play the flesh-eating ghoul here and kind of trade these guys... I think I'm better off playing the Abusive Sergeant on this thing and taking that out. And the reason for that is because I don't want to get that thing uh, growing out of control. Because it could turn out badly for me. So I miss out a little bit on building up the Flesh Eating Ghoul, but it's better than having the uh, Unbound Elemental go crazy. He's going to summon a... Totem, tutum, a tutum, and he's going to trade that for that. Good, it's fine. I think what I'll do is play the, well, you know what? I'm going to play the Sunjin Shield Master and hit him directly because this way I get to keep the 2-1 on the board, do a little bit of damage. I don't know, that's my thought process. rather than just trading the 2-1 away. Okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, so I can't quite play the Sea Giant there. I could play the Ghoul, and then I could actually kill that. 
with my wrath and my abusive sergeant. So here's what I'm thinking. Wrath for three. Abusive sergeant. This gets buffed up. Hit him directly for three because it's worth more than just killing a 1-1. One, one. And that'll buff up my ghoul eventually. Anyways, if he runs the 1-1 one, one into my uh, Sinjin Shield Master, he buffs up the ghoul. So, works. Earth Elemental. Pain in the butt. So what can I do to kill that? Um, if I swipe for four, that'll kill that. Still not enough. I'd have to swipe, run into it myself. So I'm going to swipe it. It's going to buff this up. Um, I could take seven damage, but leave the ghoul alive. Or I could kill off the ghoul. It's a tough one. I think this might be dumb, but then I lose my taunt too. Um, but my ghoul is gonna, yeah, my ghoul is gonna be a seven-three in and of itself. So I think it's kind of worth it to be able to have a seven-three on the board. Of course, it dies to a lightning strike, uh, lightning bolt. Or Hex, yeah. Either of those will do it. It's fair enough. Um, let's get this stuff out there. So we get some cards, hopefully, from this. My opponent's got a lot of cards in his hand, but I guess I have the same amount of cards if you count the ones I have on the board. But we'll see. This gets me a little bit closer to playing a Sea Giant. Okay. Summons a totem. Okay, we're gonna not let this live because I don't want my opponent to get crap. Um, so let's do this. We're gonna play the trog. <laughs> uh, we're gonna summon the sea giant and then we're gonna kill this stuff and the reason I did in that order I wanted to make sure the most amount of creatures were on the board so that I could get the sea giant out there and then and then the rest so what do we have next Don't have a lightning storm. Oh, that's pretty good too, actually. It's gonna kill my trog, probably. Yep. People hate the trog. Trog haters. Troginator. The burninators. Anyways, uh, what am I doing? Where? Forked Lightning, okay. Alright, got me a Silver Moon Guardian. That does nothing. Good. Naturalize, I do not want to play right now. What I do want to do is probably run myself and this into that to kill it and get a card. Good. Uh, this is good. I can put this out there, and I can put this out there. And we'll kill that with the giant. Even though I should probably be attacking my opponent directly, I guess I took the opportunity to kind of clear the board a little. I should have been attacking directly and putting him on the defensive. Especially now that he will be able to kill my giant with his acidic swamp ooze. And that's even more annoying. Well, that's a good opportunity to use Naturalize, I guess, on the Stormwind Champion. 
He's going to obviously trade that for the Giants. And what's he going to do with the 2-2? Two -two? He's going to pop the Divine Shield. Fair enough. And that's all he can do. Ogre Brute is pretty good. So as much as I hate to do it, giving him cards, we're going to naturalize that thing. We're going to play the Ogre Brute. We're going to do this. And I am going to attack him directly. I have a bad tendency of just focusing on control, 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 and I need to try to actually get some attack in. So we're tied for cards, pretty much. Play a weapon. That's not a weapon. It's also not a weapon. None of these things that you have played have been weapons in any capacity whatsoever. So I can do... Well, I might have lethal if the ogre doesn't fuck me over. Um, and he might. He has a 50-50 chance of screwing up. What are you trying to do? Whatever it is, it's not going to work. So, I potentially have lethal. If not, I could get him down to two. Or he just quits. Okay. I didn't necessarily have lethal. So I don't know why he up and quit, but that's all right. I'll take that. Uh, and a win is a win. So here we go. We'll play one more in this video before I put a break. Let's see who we get. Whom do we have that will play against our mighty druidness? Sis, sis. We have a hogger. Nope, a worthy opponent. It's another druid! Yorick! The great Yorick, I hardly knew thee. Uh, here we go. Naturalize. We're throwing away right away, because... No. We'll put the voodoo doctor away, too, because it dies so easily. This is good. The stone skin and gargoyle followed by mark of nature is a good combo. If I can actually play it. We'll find find out if he lets me play it. Zombie Chow is okay. I could use Claw to kill that eventually. Harrison Jones, uh, I shouldn't hope for a weapon because Druids won't have one, so I might as well just play that when I get to 5 mana. Unless he's got a Blingatron. Blingatron 3000. Um, this is kind of useless. He's got an Anoyatron. He's got some kind of Tron. So I'm tempted to play the Gargoyle, but it will die. Because he's got one, two, three, four damage. And that's not good for me. So instead we're gonna at least pop the Divine Shield there. And hope for something good that I can draw on the next turn. Um, because the Gargoyle not only will die, but won't take any of these things with it, which is doubly annoying. I'll get most of this health back when I kill the Zombie Chow, so it's not that bad. Right now we're not getting anything worthwhile here. I don't really want to use a Claw for that either, so... Yeah, we're kind of in a shitty situation where I just don't have the cards that I want to play. Next turn I'll play Harrison Jones. And kind of start with that. What you're going to coin into? Draw to the Claw. It's a great card. Doesn't really help me. At all. All right, swipe's okay. Not gonna help me in this case just yet. 
Um, because I won't kill this, I'll only do four damage, and I'll get him a card with that. And yeah, not a good combo. I'm looking forward to the stone skill skin gargoyle plus the taunt. I guess I mean, it would be nice to give a plus four attack, make it a five four that regenerates. But even then, it'll die. So maybe mech bear cat's the better choice. He's gonna use his own claw. In that. Oh, don't do that. So now I can't even kill that easily. Uh, I could do this, but then I won't have enough to do Mark of Nature on it. Oh, poop. This is not a great situation. Uh, Starfire for 5 damage. You know what? Or Mech Bear Cat. I also ha I'm going to die soon. So let's start with Starfire on this. Heal me and get me that. And then I could start playing more minions on the board and hopefully get some sort of board presence going. Okay, get some cards. That's a good, good play. Annoying for me, but good for him. Buff that up. Unfortunately, that won't stay, so I can't do big game hunter crap, <laughs> basically. Yeah, I got all my minions at the wrong time, and just uh, not looking good. He can get by that easily enough and kill me, so... I hope he realizes that. If he uses his 5-6 to get by the 2-5, he can just kill me with the other stuff he has on the board. I'm sticking out it out in the hopes he doesn't realize it, but I think he realizes it. Um, that works too. <laughs> so you can... What's he doing? Come on. You have lethal. If he doesn't kill me, I still probably can't win, but... Okay. He chose not to kill me for some odd reason, which I still can't really win here. I don't think. Yeah, there's no way I can, I have enough mana to do anything. Ah, uh, uh, just. For the wild. Yeah. No I'm conceding because it's kind of pointless. Um. I don't know why he didn't kill me when he had the chance. If I had gotten something that would have allowed me to win, that would have been wonderful. It would have sucked to be him, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. Let's play another one, because now that I'm at two losses, I might as well keep playing. I really don't like the mana curve of my deck. I thought I had it curved a little bit better, but uh, yeah, it's just taking too long to ramp up and get creatures out on the board. Alright, um, we're going first. I'm going to keep Ogre Brute, and I'm going to throw Swipe and the Sea Giant back. Maybe I should have kept Swipe, but uh, Harrison Jones, I can just play it when I get to 5 mana. And then Wrath. And Loot Hoarder, which I can play because it's going to die to the Mage's Hero ability pretty much no matter what.
coins into. A haunted creeper. A haunted crapper. You know what? We'll hero ability and hit him in the face. I'll save the loot hoarder until I need cards and until um, maybe my opponent will be a little bit more challenged for mana. Fairy dragon is annoying because I can't quite kill it. And that's okay. So we at least have a creature we could play on turn three. And that is our brute. My opponent uses coins so you can't fireball or polymorph that. He can frost bolt it, but then you won't be able to finish it up. He can do that. That's a thing. And then use his hero ability. That is indeed a thing he can do. So, he can pop the divine shield and run this and that into it. Which is annoying. Alternatively, we play this. Well, alternatively... I wrath this for one. Get a card. Mark of nature. Use my hero ability to kill one of these. Take some damage on the next turn, but set myself up a little bit better, I think. I'm gonna play loot hoarder followed by mark of nature. Oh, I don't want to give him a loot hoarder if that's Indeed, a mirror entity. I also don't want to give him that stuff, so we'll play Voodoo Doctor. It is not a mirror entity. It is a mirror entity. Excellent. Uh, so I didn't give him a loop order. That's good. I could play Mark of Nature, but I think... Well... Let's do this thing. Let's do that and that. Uh, not the best use of this, but now he'll have to use his hero ability. Tibbers will have to use his hero ability on one and probably trade the one one into the other. Which again is not the best trades, but it's something. Okay. Made a 3 4, it gets me a card, which I kind of don't want to use the naturalize if I can help it. Um, alright, so me thinks it is a good opportunity to now play Druid of the Claw. And get a nice 4-6 out there. Don't polymorph it. Don't fireball it. And we'll be okay. Good. Well, it's not great, but it's okay. I can work with this. Um... Let's play Harrison Jones. Let's play the Trog. Get some stuff out there. He could have a flame strike. I am taking that chance. He does he doesn't have a flame strike though. Good. Alright, I got another swipe, which is good. I might as well play the swipe, I think. And I'll take damage. But at least it clears that stuff out. Um, Silver Moon Guardian, Mark of Nature is pretty good. Stone Skin Gargoyle, Mark of Nature would be good. Summoner. Random legendary, of course. That's what we have. So I couldn't naturalize that. Thinking. And then hopefully it's all right. Let's do it. I hate to give him the cards. I have to get rid of it. 
Unfortunately, that's not something I can kill with Big Game Hunter, but at the same time, he doesn't get the battle cry from it. Just swap health with another minion, so that's kind of okay. Oops, and then we'll mark of nature on that. And watch it get polymorphed. <laughs> or fireballed or whatever. Ah, you son of a... Well played. No, now you won't be able to at least swap health with it. Be able to swap health with this thing, which is annoying. Eventually, I'll need to play this gargoyle. I should never pick the gargoyle. The gargoyle is terrible, pretty much at every single turn. It's been doing nothing but bad things for me. Start with this. Do that, and that's pretty much all I can do. Yeah, I'm not doing well. Let's be honest here. I mean, I'm dead. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm trying to do, accomplish here. Unless that was taunt. Uh, I am dead. So, unfortunately, that is that. And let's see how we did. I mean, we're not going to get much in the way of dust. But how do we do in the way of cards? I mean, we get a really good card in our pack. And what do we get? Nothing really good here. I think I've got most of these. What's the rare? Upgraded repair bot. This is new. Give a friendly mech plus four health. That's pretty good. Five, five for five plus, uh, I mean, it means I have to kind of build more mechs into my priest deck, but still, that's pretty damn good. All right, well, with that, we're going to put a break in this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show your support, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Happy New Year's, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!